Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics free lecture. Today's topic is surface integral. This uh, topic is from fifth unit vector calculus. See what is surface integral. The surface integral of a vector point function f bar or a surface S is defined as the integral of the normal component of f bar taken over the surface S. Consider a surface S as shown in figure. This is a surface S. Let f bar act at point P enclosed by an element of area ds. This is a area ds. And f bar act at point P. The point P is inside the area delta S. And f bar act at point P enclosed by an element of area delta S that F bar is acting on point P, which is enclosed by area delta S. <clears throat> okay. Now, N cap is a unit vector, unit vector normal to the surface at point P. <clears throat> cap is a unit vector normal to the surface at point P. That N cap is a unit vector, which is normal to the surface S. <clears throat> Normal component of F bar is given by F bar dot N cap. The surface integral can be expressed as F bar dot N cap ds or double integration or surface S F bar dot N cap ds. If we write ds bar is equal to N cap ds, then the integration will be double integration S, double integration or S F bar dot ds bar. <coughs> This is the uh, surface integral. Okay, well, means normal component of F bar is given by F bar dot n cap. And so, so surface integral can be expressed as this double integration. <clears throat> now, Green's theorem, Green's lemma, consider the enclosed surface sorry, enclosed curve C, enclosing an area A. Let M and N are continuous functions of X and Y, having continuous derivatives over the region bounded by the curve C. See, consider the closed curve C, enclosing an area A. Let M and N are continuous functions of X and Y, having continuous derivatives over the region bounded by the curve C. Then integration or closed curve C, M dx plus N dy is equal to Double integration or region R, close region R, da, da by n by da by x minus da by n by da by y into dx dy. Or this m dx plus n dy can be replaced by, plus m, m dx plus n dy can be replaced by f bar dot dr bar here. And so integration or close curve C F bar dot dr bar is equal to double integration or close region R del daba n by daba x minus daba n by daba y into dx to dy. <coughs> now, hello dear students, this is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is few examples on Green's lemma, Green's theorem. In, Example, using Green's theorem, evaluate integration or curve C cos x sine y minus 4y bracket complete dx plus sin x cos y to dy, where C is the circle x square plus y square is equal to 1. Now, this integration is in the form of m dx plus n dy, integration m dx plus n dy or curve C, where C is the curve, it is a circle of radius 1. Now here, f bar is equal to xi plus yj. Here, this component with dx, the term with dx is suppose x, the f1 component of f bar, and this sine x cos y is the f2 component of f bar. So this is in the form of f bar is equal to cos x sin y minus 4y into i cap plus sin x cos y into j cap 
therefore m is equal to cos x sin y minus 4y and n is equal to sin x cos y now differentiate m with respect to y so it is cos x into cos x constant derivative of sin y is cos y minus 4 as it is derivative of y with respect to y is 1 n is sin x cos y so derivative of n with respect to x cos y as it is derivative of sin x is cos x and therefore now the green's lemma the term is here del n by del x minus del n by del y so you find the term del n by del x minus del n by del y by green's theorem integration over closed curve c f bar dot dr bar is equal to double integration over region r del n by del x minus del n by del y into dx dy so del n by del x is this term here we have calculated the term del n by del x minus del n by del y the derivatives are here so you put the values of both the derivatives here del n by del x is cos x cos y minus cos x cos y plus 4 and so it is equal to 4 this term get cancel cos x cos y minus cos x cos y it is equal to 4 so by green's theorem it, the integration f bar dot dr bar over closed curve is equal to double integration del n by del x minus del n by del y get complete into dx dy of region r it is equal to now del n by del x minus del n by del y is 4 so it is double integration 4 dx dy the 4 is constant so double integration means area area of the circle x square plus y square is equal to 1 is equal to 4 into the formula of area of circle is pi r square r is radius of the circle and here radius of the circle is 1 so pi into 1 square 1 square is 1 so it is equal to 4 pi so this is the answer 4 pi So this is the example on Green's theorem. Now next example is here. Using Green's theorem, evaluate integration e raised to minus x sine y dx plus cos y dy, where c is over the curve c, where c is the rectangle with vertices zero zero pi comma zero pi comma pi by two zero comma pi by two. Means the vertices of rectangles are given, and we have to find out the uh, value of the integration using Green's theorem. Uh, or the rectangle by green's theorem this is the formula of green's theorem integration over closed curve c m dx plus n dy is equal to double integration over the region r del n by del x minus del m by del y into dx dy now here if we uh, compare the given integration with integration m dx plus n dy the value of m means the term with dx is m and the term with dy is n here so the term with dx is e raised to minus x into sin y We solve this bracket for e raised to minus x. The term with dx is e raised to minus x into sine y, and the term with dy is e raised to minus x into cos y. And so del m by del y, derivative of m with respect to y, e raised to minus x as it is, derivative of sine y is cos y. N is equal to e raised to minus x into cos y. So derivative of n with respect to x is cos y as it is, derivative of e raised to minus x is minus into e raised to minus x. Okay. And so del m by del y, del n by del x minus del m by del y is equal to minus of e raised to minus x into cos y minus e raised to minus x into cos y, and the addition is minus two e raised to minus x into cos y. The subtraction. Now put in the equation one. Put in one. So i is equal to double integration. Here. the how to find the limits you draw the diagram to find the limits you draw this rectangle the coordinates are 0 0 means one of the point is here origin second is pi comma 0 means on x axis the x coordinate is pi and y coordinate is 0 means this point is on x axis then second uh, the third one is 0 comma pi by 2 means uh, x coordinate is 0 means the point is on y axis And fourth one is pi comma pi by two. So this is the point. So the, you draw this diagram of rectangle. These points are given in the example. Draw the diagram. And how to find the limits? You consider a vertical strip. If you consider a vertical strip, then uh, you can find the limits of x because all the coordinates uh, are given. All for all the points of rectangle, all the coordinates are given. So how to find the uh, Limits of x you travel pro, uh, along x-axis. Next coordinate are zero to pi by zero to pi. So the limits of x are zero to pi. 
and to find the limits of y you travel along y axis so or from origin to y axis point 0 comma pi by 2 the y coordinates are 0 and pi by 2 so limits for y are 0 to pi by 2 and uh, del n by del x minus del n by del y the term is minus 2 into e raised to minus x cos y dx dy okay now both the limits are uh, constant limits so you can uh, separately integrate the terms of x and terms of y now first integration limits are of x so you integrate the terms of x second integration terms are of y so integrate the terms of y so minus 2 as it is integration of e raised to minus x is e raised to minus x upon minus 1 limit 0 to pi uh, integration of cos y is sin y and the limits are 0 to pi by 2 and then put the limits upper limit is pi so minus 2 as it is upper limit is pi so minus e raised to minus pi plus lower limit is 0 so e raised to 0 Second integration, uh, second term sine y limit zero to pi by two. Put y is equal to pi by two. Sine pi by two minus lower limit zero sine zero. Sine zero is zero, so second term zero. So minus two as it is. E raised to minus pi. Uh, if we uh, multiply this bracket term by minus sine plus two in bracket minus minus plus e raised to minus pi. E raised to zero is one minus sine. We are multiplying by minus sine, so it is minus two. So this is your answer. for the given this is your answer for the given integration okay so this is the second example of green square uh, the bounded region uh, was uh, rectangle and uh, the area for the rectangle in it is equal to 2 into e to the power minus 5 minus 1 okay Evaluate integration f bar dot d r bar where f bar is this vector sine y into i cap plus x into bracket one plus cos y bracket complete into j cap, and c is the ellipse x square by s square plus y square by b square is equal to one and z coordinate is zero. So here we have f bar is sine y into i cap plus x into bracket one plus cos y bracket complete into j cap. Now f bar dot d r bar is equal to f bar d r bar you know d x i cap plus d y j cap plus d z k cap. So f bar dot d r bar is equal to sine y d x plus x into one plus cos y d y plus uh, z is zero d z that third term is absent z is zero so d z is zero and third component in f bar is also zero here okay so f bar dot d r bar is this term here so integrate f bar dot d r bar it is integration sine y d x plus x cos y d y plus x d y We yes, solve this bracket term, so it is x dy plus x cos y dy. Okay. Now sine y dx plus uh, x into cos y dy. The this is the derivative of x into sine y. Integration derivative integration derivative of x into sine y plus integration x dy. Now here integration inside the integration there is derivative term so that. Uh, both are uh, cancel and the term is x into sin y plus integration x dy now put x is equal to a cos theta and y is equal to b sin theta because uh, the the area c is the curve uh, enclosed area is here ellipse so you the para, we are going to convert it in terms of polar form so the coordinates are the tra Relation between uh, Cartesian coordinates and polar coordinates for ellipse uh, is equal to x is equal to a cos theta, y is equal to b sin theta. So dx is minus a sin theta d theta, dy is b cos theta d theta, and theta lies between zero to two pi. Okay, this is a standard relation. So integration f bar dot d r bar is equal to integration of zero to two pi a cos theta. Integration x dy is x. The value of x is a cos theta, and dy is b cos theta d theta, and so it is equal to a b cos square theta d theta. So uh, integration of zero to pi to pi a b cos square theta, it is equal to four times a into b constant. We are writing four times uh, and converting uh, that limit zero to two pi into zero to pi by two into cos square theta. And if we solve this integration cos square theta. Then its value is one by two into pi by two using reduction formula, and so the answer is pi into a b. So here, the examples on Green's lemma, Green's theorem are over here, and so this session is also over here. Thank you.